it's time for Christian Fitness. In today's program, we thought we'd take you outside, give you some beautiful scenery from here in St. Petersburg, Florida, with uh, the beautiful Tampa Bay behind us. And we're gonna use one of my favorite things God created to work out with, a palm tree. Yeah, you're probably thinking, I don't have a palm tree in my house, how am I gonna work out today? You can use a couch, you can use a chair, you can even use a doorway. So just get creative, but join us, come on. All right, this first round, we're gonna start at the bottom of the body and work our way up. We're just gonna do calf raises. So put one leg up against your sofa or your palm tree if you happen to have one. <laughs> and we're just gonna do single leg calf raises. We're gonna do one minute, then we'll switch sides at one minute. Now we always do beginner, intermediate, and advanced for each program. So for beginners, you know, you may do, follow Lori, she may do one every, what, five seconds or so? Yeah, and I may also, in the intermediate part, decide to do 10 or 15 or just keep going. Yes. So the whole key is do what you can do. If you're a beginner, do where you're comfortable. And if you feel some burning in your legs, that's totally normal. Yeah, absolutely. You're going to feel burning. There's, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Or lose balance. Using a single calf like this, basically you're lifting your entire body weight with one calf. So you're really going to feel it. It's going to start to burn before that one minute mark. Yeah, like right about now. <laughs> just do the best you can. Are you holding on to the tree? No, not yet. <laughs> okay, let's switch sides. So you can put your leg against, you know, if you're at home, you put it up against a chair, you can put it up against your sofa, put it on the uh, a door jam, whatever you have, but really concentrate on that single calf. I can't see you, honey. How you doing over there? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> It's kind of like that kickboxing show we yeah. did where we had something in between us. Well, this one though, you can't get the, kick the tree over. Yeah, this is really gonna burn. You're really gonna, it really isolates the calf muscle. Especially when you put your other leg up like this. You're isolating so you, <laughs> you don't have any other support. Yeah, I'm feeling that burning right about now. <laughs> Well, and the sand makes it harder too. I'd much rather be at home on carpet or a hardwood floor. The sand has so much give makes it Five, a lot tougher. Four, three, two, one. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. For our fitness facts today, we're going to talk about staying motivated to exercise. Statistics show that most people stop working out after just one month. They might make a New Year's resolution, but it doesn't last. So how can you stay motivated to continue your exercise routine? Start by wearing clothing that's comfortable and as practical as possible. If you're working out in your living room today, then you might not even need to wear shoes. Speaking of your living room, the exercise environment is one of the most important factors to staying motivated. It should also be as comfortable as possible, but also inspiring. That's why we're shooting on the beach today, to give you some beautiful background scenery to create the right environment. Our first fitness fact, choose comfortable clothing and a motivating environment. All right, this round we're going to move up the body and work our thighs. So Lori, for beginners and intermediates, you're just going to put your leg up against the tree as we have for your couch and just do thigh presses. Okay, so just single leg at one minute we'll switch. Just press with the thigh. Intermediates, you can go a little bit lower. In advance, we're going to go all the way down to the ground and lunge until your toe, I'm sorry, your knee is lined up over your toe. So I almost, you know, try to touch the tree with my knee. And we know you don't have a palm tree at home to work out with. <laughs> well, you might. Well, you might in your backyard, <laughs> but you can use a couch, you can use an ottoman, you can use a chair, you can use part of the wall, a corner of a wall when you see some of the other exercises we're doing. But just use what you have and move. The whole object is just to move and exercise yeah, every doing, day. Yeah, this is full body too. So you saw we started the calves, we worked our way up to the thigh, we're gonna work our way up the entire body before we're done today. Yeah, you're gonna feel this tomorrow. A switch. <laughs> so beginners, intermediates, you'll press against the couch or whatever you have. We're gonna press against the palm tree. Intermediates, a little lower and advanced. As I mentioned, we like to go all the way down to the base of the tree. Really drive off of this thigh. Really press that one thigh. 
A fitness fact is great, Lori. Talking about comfortable clothing, especially being outdoors today. It is hot, and we wanted to make sure that we tried to stay as cool as we could. I mean, I think everybody knows me that I always want to be modest because that's something that blesses my husband, it blesses the Lord because a woman should have modesty, but it is important to be comfortable. Don't go walking in tight shorts or jeans that you can't move around in because you might not get the optimal workout that way. Yeah, and then you start focusing on your clothing and how uncomfortable, and you just, that, that's as discouraging as anything, so make sure that you're comfortable. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute. This is our favorite part of Christian fitness and the reason it's called Christian fitness because this is where we get into scripture. Lori has some scripture today from Jeremiah that is really gonna bless you. It's Jeremiah 17, seven and eight. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They're like trees planted along a river bank with roots that stretch deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. You know, we're the fruit of righteousness in Jesus Christ. We've received Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior and we are always to bear fruit. And through the love of God and the righteousness of Christ, we will bear that fruit and grow in that. This is our third round. We're going to stay on legs. We're going to work thighs and hamstrings and a little bit of the back pocket on this one. You're going to put one leg against your sofa or your tree and you're just going to do back leg dips. So you're just going to dip down. Yeah, good, Lori. And intermediate, you can go a little bit lower. Advanced, we want to go all the way down to the ground. So I want to just put my foot at the base of the tree. And I'm just going to do a one legged squat. So just go all the way down so you're about parallel or a little bit lower if you're comfortable with it. And just come back up and just keep your foot at the base of your. Yeah, you don't even need any furniture or anything for this one if you're going to do the advanced. I don't know about, you said go lower. I don't know if my legs can do that with the Well, yeah, with your leg up like that, you can. I mean, that's, yeah. that's why you have to put it all the way down on the ground. <laughs> yeah, otherwise, <laughs> physically, I don't think that's possible. Good, let's switch sides. So Lori, we just do little dips, little tiny squats. And if you want, on the beginners and intermediates, she could do an isometric, she could hold it. She could go down and just hold this position for five, 10 seconds and then come back up. Advance, again, we're gonna go try to go down to the base of the tree. I love that scripture today, Lori, Jeremiah. Yeah, we're like trees planted by water. Yeah, I picked the scripture because of what we were doing, but also because we're filled with the righteousness of God. We bear fruit from Jesus Christ, and those fruit, your fruit, when you bear fruit, it's not, yes, it is love, peace, joy, and the fruit of the Spirit, but it's also growing. Your fruit should grow. Amen. Fruit doesn't fall off of a tree and die. If you're a Christian, you're walking with Jesus, you're going to continue to grow in Christ, no matter what you go through, and that's what being in the fruit of righteousness is all about. Amen. Time has expired. For our nutrition tip today, we're going to stay with our tree theme and talk about dates. They come from a palm tree and there's record of them being grown and cultivated as far back as 500 BC. They're known for their fiber content, but they're also loaded with vitamin A, vitamin K, B6, and antioxidants. They have more calories than most fruits, but their nutrient, vitamin, and mineral value makes up for it, like calcium, potassium, iron, and copper. Dates are incredibly sweet, which makes them a great additive to salads, breads, muffins, or chopped and added to vegetables or even rice. Their sweet taste also makes them a great substitute for candy if you're looking for a sweet treat and they're easy to store. They can be kept at room temperature for several months and up to a full year in the refrigerator. Our nutrition tip today, don't forget about the incredible treat from the days of Jesus, the date. All right, that's enough for legs, we think. <laughs> Let's get up to stomachs. We're just gonna do a plank. So if you're at home, beginners, just walk your feet out a little bit and just hold against the wall and try to tighten your stomach. Try to pull your belly button into your spine. Tighten it, intermediates, a little bit lower, 
which is really hard in the sand. <laughs> and advanced or even beginners and intermediates can do this, but let's just bring one knee up to the chest. So Laura, I have no idea if we're on the same leg, but it doesn't really matter, does it? I, you know, <laughs> we didn't talk about it. I'm lifting my right leg. Oh, I'm doing my left. <laughs> <laughs> so we're doing opposite. In one minute, we'll switch. But really tight in your stomach. Curl your stomach up as you do this. And if you can't get your leg all the way up, just get your leg as far as you can. And remember, if you're a beginner, you're just plank, holding in your stomach, building up your core that way. Yeah, if you're not advanced or intermediate, don't go very low on the tree. You can stand right next to your couch or right next to a wall. Here, let's switch legs, honey, switch sides. So I'll do my right, and I guess you would be doing your left, right? I right? am. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, as a beginner, stay close to the wall because this puts a lot of pressure up here on the shoulders, which we're gonna do some shoulder exercises later. We'll talk more about that, but definitely relax your shoulders. Keep them nice and relaxed and just tighten your stomach. Did we forget to talk about the fact that we were, had the Tampa Bay behind us and how beautiful it is? Yeah, we, it's hot today. I think we mentioned that. Yeah, welcome to beautiful, sunny Florida. <laughs> How you doing, honey? A couple seconds, almost there. Can you see the clock? Five, almost there. Four, ah, three, okay, I gave up. Two, yeah. one, <laughs> I thought our time was okay. up. Please rest. Our fitness facts today are on motivation. We briefly touched on the exercise environment earlier, but here are some more tips. Make sure that you pick a place that isn't too hot, too cold, but instead choose an environment that encourages you to move. The outdoors are usually a great option. There's plenty of fresh air to keep you energized and you're surrounded by so many of God's beautiful creations. Another key to staying motivated is to exercise with a partner or a group. They help you with accountability and it's a great way to build or develop relationships. Plus, it's a lot more fun doing push-ups on a tree with someone else. Our fitness facts today are in staying motivated. Choose the right environment, find a good workout partner, or exercise with a group. All right, it's time to work on our arms a little bit. We're gonna work on our triceps. So just stand against your wall or your sofa, whatever you have. And for beginners, you, just, you can just hold this plank. For intermediates, you maybe can do an isometric. Collapse your elbow about halfway and just hold that for five or 10 seconds and then push out. Advanced, we want you to push the entire time. Okay, for the entire minute and then we'll switch sides. And earlier we mentioned about the shoulder. You wanna be careful with the shoulder. Keep your shoulder down on this. You wanna point the elbow directly down. Don't go like this and bring the elbow up. Right. Look at how that impinges the shoulder. Keep the elbow pointed down and that'll keep your shoulder nice down and relaxed. And if you're a beginner, please don't do this. Especially if your shoulders aren't strong enough. Just Doing a plank like this and holding in your stomach and working on your core, that's gonna give you a lot of workout. You're gonna feel all of that in your shoulder blades. Your shoulders are full of little tiny muscles, so you're gonna feel this tomorrow and the next day. So if you're a beginner, just go slow. Begin at this and build these muscles up so that you can do this push up. I'm gonna have to come to your side of the tree, won't <laughs> So we'll swap sides of the tree to get one minute on the other side. Yeah, but especially as you age, I know we uh, have a lot of <laughs> old years folks that work out with us. But um, as you get older, there are a lot of people that have tiny tears in their rotator cuffs, which you'll notice if you you know reach overhead and do a lot of things for a long time, you may have pain that night and inflammation. Uh, a lot of people have small tears in their rotator cuff, so you really want to be careful on this exercise because you'll feel this the next day. So you just do the plank as a beginner intermediate like Lori. Yeah, and if you feel something funny the next day, it's probably just because you worked out your muscles. So, yeah. and you can just say, by his stripes I'm healed. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood you shed for me. You and go. you healed me, because your word says, you heal me by your stripes. Amen. Five, four, three, two, one. Time has expired. Please rest for one minute.
We'd love for you to visit our website, which is christianfitnesstv.com. You can click on the little contact link there, and that's how you send us your email, and that's what we use for our viewer feedback. And Lori, we heard from JGC today, right? Yes, we did. She's precious. She said, I've been watching daily for almost a month now. Love the exercises. They're gentle, but I feel like I've worked harder. I'm 86 years young and needed to get back into exercise. I moved down here to Florida and got lazy enjoying the pool. I'm already seeing the changes in my core for my clothes. Your words of inspiration always inspire me. I think about them during the day. Be blessed and keep up the good work. Thank you so much for sending that. We always want to hear from our viewers. We want to hear if they've received Jesus or if they've been healed or if they've changed something in their life. We want to hear from you. All right, it's time to work a little more upper body in this round. We're going to do push-ups. Beginners, just both hands. You can just plank if you want. You can just hold this if you want. Maybe flex a little bit for an isometric and hold that for five or ten seconds. Or as Lori's doing, do some little push-ups. Yeah, just little baby push-ups. Yeah, and remember, this is two minutes, so you can keep your feet fairly close and do two minutes. You're going to feel it. Intermediates, bring your feet a little further out, and we're going to actually push off, get a little separation. So not until you're an intermediate do you want to do this one. You want to have the strength and you want to have flexible enough wrists that you don't uh, end up eating <laughs> the wall or the tree. Advanced, we're going to go even lower, way down on the tree. So go as low as you can on the tree and really get explosive power to push off. And this is something you do want to work up to. You don't want to just start out like this because once again, you're working all of those little tiny muscles in your shoulders and your shoulder blades and you're actually you're getting it in your forearms and in your wrists you're going to feel a lot of muscle groups so don't forget to hold in your stomach when you do this how you doing i'm doing good this takes a little out of you trying to get enough explosive energy to push all the way off so i enjoy it this goes back to our fitness fact being motivated mm -hmm. Being out here is definitely motivating. Yeah. It's more, much more fun doing a push-up on a palm tree than just sitting at home <laughs> staring at the floor. And having a good environment. This is a great environment. It's beautiful out here. It's hot, but it's beautiful. Tree planted by the water, right? <laughs> Isn't that the scripture? Yeah. Of course, the water represents either the Holy Spirit or the Word. That's right. That's what I love about that scripture. There's so much spiritual aspect, even to the physical. The refreshing of the Lord Five, four, by the Word of God. Three, two, one, time has expired. All right, that scripture that we chose for today's show is Jeremiah, and it's so appropriate talking about the trees and the water. So, Lori, can you share that with us again? Yeah, it's Jeremiah 17, 7 and 8. But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They're like trees planted along a river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. You know, the Word of God is faith. And when you lean on the Word of God and know that the faith of God, the righteousness of Jesus lives in you, you will produce fruit. And that fruit will grow in you. Amen. And you won't lose your peace when storms come along or when the heat of the day or a trial or persecution comes along. You'll stay in that peace, the peace of God. Amen. All right, this one might be difficult if you don't have a tree. You might have to use a doorway in your house, but we're gonna do, it's almost a simulation of if you had dumbbells doing a fly. Okay, so you're just gonna lean away from your tree or your doorway or your couch, if your couch can take it, and just pull yourself in with the one arm. And then at one minute, we'll switch sides. So just pull yourself up with the one arm. I love hearing the water in the background. Yeah, this is a beautiful, beautiful little park here. We're actually, it's called North Shore Park in St. Petersburg, and you've probably seen the pier in the background on a few shots, and just a beautiful, beautiful area. How are you doing over there? I'm doing good. It's hard on a tree. I mean, it really is. Much easier. If you just have dumbbells, you want to do flies, you can do that in your living room. It's a lot easier to try to pull yourself around this tree. But we like to be creative and have fun and... Give everybody something to look at that's different than just us working out with a piece of equipment. Here, let's switch sides, honey. Let's work the other side. Am I switching with you? Just switch. Almost like 
like a Gilligan's Island episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we might have some kids watching. I have no idea what that is. Okay, now I really feel like I'm planted by a tree with the water behind me. I am planted like a tree. Being rooted and grounded in the Word of God with the fruit of righteousness, the peace of God. Persecution comes, shouldn't affect you. Should just keep moving on. Circumstances you shouldn't be moved by. Just be moved by the Word of God. That's what's being planted by the Word of God. Amen. Yeah, that's great scripture. Actually, read that entire chapter. Go to that whole Jeremiah 17. Read the entire thing. We don't have time to cover all of it in today's show. And also read the first psalm because part of that, there's a cross-reference in the first psalm. Five, four, three, two, one. Time has expired. Please rest. This is our final fitness fact on motivation. We've encouraged you to wear comfortable clothing, choose the right environment, and exercise with others. Another important factor is to set goals and keep track of your progress. Setting goals can be as simple as walking around the entire block every other night this week, or as detailed as reducing the time it takes to walk your block by 15 seconds every other night this week. Make sure that you write down your goal and then chart your progress. My goal might be to do 12 one-legged squats on each leg during today's show and then add one more each week. So four weeks from now, I'll be able to do 16 on each leg. By charting your progress, you can gain satisfaction that can help motivate you. If you wrote down your walking distance over the last three months, it can be encouraging to see that you're walking twice as far now as you did three months ago. Our fitness facts today, find the right ingredients that are encouraging and motivating. All right, only two rounds left, you're doing good. <laughs> this one we're gonna combine the arm exercises. So we're gonna start with what was just the tricep focus. So just push off for the tricep, and you wanna turn and do your push-up. So you're gonna combine the tricep, push off to the push-up. We'll do this for a minute, and then we'll switch sides. And what are we doing if you're a beginner, honey? If you're a beginner, you can just hold it. So for beginner, you, you can just, just do, do the this. Plank. Right, so just hold that and then just and turn. And then turn this way. And then you could flex just a little bit, which would be an isometric. Like that. And so just bend your elbow just a little bit. And then stay in that position. And then turn. And then flex your arms again. So you're almost doing a push-up, but not a complete one. Yeah, but an isometric works, I mean, so many muscles. There's actually been lab studies where isometric exercise is just holding it can do almost as much good. That's right. This is really hard to do in the sand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the sand, the sand makes it really challenging. All right, let's switch sides, honey. And we'll work the left arm. So beginners, you could just hold the plank, maybe go isometric for a little while, and then from there you turn, hold it. Bend your arm bend your if you do an isometric. isometric. Sorry. <laughs> uh, go ahead, advanced. Go as low as you can on your tree, or your, or your hallway door. Hallway door, or your hallway, or doorway or refrigerator if you're in the kitchen <laughs> don't eat <laughs> you could do this on the floor I mean you can do a side plank like that on the floor and then turn and do a push-up off the floor I forgot what I was doing so no excuse for patience. you gotta participate I completely forgot what I was doing and just did the side thing <laughs> Time All right, honey. We encourage you to go to our website, which is ChristianFitnessTV.com, and we've got everything imaginable on there. Um, Lori, what are some of your favorites? Well, my favorite's always the Salvation Call, and then hearing from you. I want to know what the Lord's doing in your life. If you've received a healing, or you've received Jesus as your Lord and Savior, I want to hear from you. We answer our email, so you can get on our website and get in touch with us through the website. Yeah, we answer all the emails ourselves and uh, so that's us responding to you. We don't have a big staff. We have a staff of two, she and I. So we, <laughs> <laughs> you'll actually hear back from us. And we really enjoy hearing from you guys. Uh, we have product on there. We have DVDs on there. So go to the shop page on there. Uh, but just, yeah, visit the website because we change it periodically. So welcome. We aren't running the cameras. We have camera guys too. Bless them. <laughs> Thank you.
Last round, we're gonna do a trio on the leg exercises. So the first thing you wanna do, Lori, you can put your leg back up on the sofa. You're gonna do a calf raise, then you're gonna do a thigh press, then you're gonna do a squat. Okay, so calf raise, thigh press, squat. We're gonna combine all three. So as advanced, I'm gonna go down to the ground. So here, you're gonna lunge toward the tree and then do your one-legged squat. And in one minute, we'll switch sides. So combine all three. We just combined all the arm exercises. Now we're gonna combine all the leg. That's right. I had to think about that for a minute. Calf raise, press into the tree, and squat. <laughs> <laughs> it took me a second. Yeah, this was a mental exercise. We thought we'd save the mental exercise for the very last round. <laughs> well, and if you're talking, it's really easy you to forget about, about what you're doing. <laughs> yeah. I just did all three all at the same time. Well, that is something you can do. You could do three calf raises, yeah. three thigh presses, and then three squats. That's up to you. Here, let's switch sides, the last leg. This is it, honey, one minute left. So beginners, calf raise, <laughs> do five, two. I then think you do this... two presses, and then do two squats. Two presses. Is that better that way? Yeah, I kind of like that. And then advance, we go down lower. I'll try two, and then two squats. I don't know, I like doing one at a time. I'm doing three. Because <laughs> these low leg squats like that. Those are hard. I need a second to recover after doing those. Yeah, those are difficult. Just the water behind us. Ah, so pretty. Well, that's what our fitness facts all talk about was the environment. Now we did say not too hot or too cold. It's really too hot out here. <laughs> but <laughs> the scenery makes up for it. Four, three, two, one. Time has expired. Jesus loves you so much. He loves you so much that He wants you to be filled with the fruit of righteousness, be filled with the love of God, and be planted in the Word of God. If you don't feel like you are planted in the Word or that you have that deep, deep hunger for Jesus, pray with me. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me of my sins. Thank you that you died on the cross for me, that you shed your blood for me, and you're coming back again for me in Jesus' name. Amen, amen. If you pray that prayer, please go to the website, make sure you let us know. We always close with 3 John 1, 2. Beloved, I pray that in all respects you may prosper and be in good health just as your soul prospers. Thank you so much for joining us here in the beautiful Tampa Bay today. We love you guys. God bless you. We love you guys. <laughs> I looked down. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I forgot we're on camera. Our first bat. Blah. Find a motivated little bit. This tree is really uncomfortable. Yes. <laughs> oh my gosh. It doesn't uh, really fit pe two people very well. Yeah. <sighs> it's so hot. <laughs> Lori, you're gonna, what in the heck am I talking about? Sorry. The sun wow. has just fried my head. Of course I would know. <laughs> That's a I have to read. I, I just couldn't even get 17 right. out. We got it now. I'm wow. Sure. <laughs> I just preached myself happy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord, help us. <laughs>